live from Los Angeles, it's theCUBE, covering Open Source Summit North America 2017. Brought to you by the Linux Foundation and Red Hat. Welcome back everyone, live in Los Angeles for theCUBE's exclusive coverage of the Open Source Summit North America. I'm John Furrier, your host, with my co-host Stu Miniman. Our next guest is Elaine Young at EGSY on Twitter, check her out. Student at Holberton School? At Holberton School. Holberton School, and that's in San oh, Francisco? Yes. I'm like repping the, repping the school Looking right here. Looking good, <laughs> you look great. So, open source is a new generation. It's going to go from 64 million libraries to 400 million by 2026. New developers are coming in. It's a whole new vibe. Right. What's your take on this? Looking at this industry right now, looking at all this old, the old guard, the new guards coming in. A lot of cool things happening. Apple's new AR kit was announced today. You saw VR and AR is booming. And Multimedia. More home button. Right. Like it's just I, killer stuff happening. <laughs> I mean, one of the reasons why I wanted to go into tech, and this is why I like what I told him when I applied to Holberton School, was that I really think at whatever next rev social revolution we have, technology is going to be somewhat like somehow integral to it. It might. It's probably not even like an existing technology right now, and. Um, as someone who's just like social justice minded, I wanted to be able to contribute in that way, yeah. so, uh, and develop a skill set that well, way. Well, we saw the keynote, Christine Colbert uh, Moran was, was talking really hardcore about code driving culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is happening, so this right. is not like, you know, maybe going to happen. We're starting to see it. We're starting to see the culture being shaped by code, mm -hmm. and notions of ruling classes and elites potentially becoming democratized 100% because now software, the guys and gals doing it are, are active on it and they have a mindset right. that come from a community. Mm -hmm. So this is an interesting dynamic. As you look at that, do you think that's closer to reality? Where are in your mind's eye do you see it? Because you're in the front lines, you're young, student, you're immersed in, that, in all the action. I wish I was in your position and all these great AI libraries, you got TensorFlow from Google, you have all this goodness right. kind of coming in. So you're, I mean, so let me make sure I'm hearing your question right. So you're asking like, how do I feel democratization yeah, of like yeah. education? Um, do you feel it, are you there? Do you, is it happening faster? Um, well, it. I mean, things are happening fast. I mean, I didn't have any idea like how to use um, a terminal in, uh, before January. Um, I didn't know like, I didn't know my way around Linux or GitHub or how to how to push a commit until um, until I started at Holberton School. So, um, I in that in that sense, I'm actually experiencing this democratization of yeah. education. The whole like reason I'm able to go to this school is because they actually invest in the students first, and we don't have to pay um, tuition when we enroll. It's only after we are hired or actually until we have a job, and then we do an income share agreement. So, like it, it's really. That's cool. It's really cool to have like a school where they're basically saying like we trust in the education that we're going to give you so strongly that we're gonna, you don't you're not going to pay up front um, yeah. because we know you're going to get a, a solid job and you'll pay. It takes a lot that of pressure point. off too. Yeah. Because then oh. you don't have to worry about that. Exactly. Overhanging. I wrote about that in my essay as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just like because who wants to like worry about student debt like while you're while you're studying? So now I can fully focus on learning C, learning Python. All right, what's the coolest thing stuff? that you've done that's cool that, you, that you've gotten like motivated on? Because you're, you're getting I've, your hands dirty, you get the addiction. What, <laughs> take us through the day in the life of like, wow. I don't this know. This is a killer. Dude, I, I normally, I'm just kind of a cool person, so I feel like everything I, no, no. Oh, that's a good, that's <laughs> okay. the best answer we heard. <laughs> um, okay, so we had a, a battle, um, a rap battle at my school of, of uh, of programming languages, and so I wrote a rap about bash scripts, and <laughs> that is um, that is somewhere on the internet, um, and I'm pretty sure that's like one of the coolest things. And actually, coming out here, one of my school leaders, Sylvan, he he told me he was like, you should actually put that like pretty like front and center on your um, on your uh, like LinkedIn or whatever your my profile. And what was cool is when I met Le uh, Linus yesterday, um, someone who had seen my rap was there, and it's almost like it was like set up because he was like, oh, are you the one that was rapping Bash? And I was like, well, why, yes, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Linus said it was like, he was, what did he say? He was like, oh, that's like a Weird Al level, like just the fact that I would make a, <laughs> um, a rap about Bash. That's scripts. so cool. <laughs> so is that on your Twitter handle? Can we find that on your Twitter handle? Yes, you okay. can. E-G-S-Y. Yes. 
Yeah. Um, so, yeah. so, Elaine, you won an award to be able to come to this show. Mm -hmm. What's your take been on the show so far? What what was exciting about you, and what what's your experience been so far? To come to the con uh, yeah. to the summit. Yeah. Um, well, so when I was when I was in education and um, as a as a dean, um, we did a lot of backwards planning, and so I, I think for me, like that's just sort of like. I was looking into the future, and I knew that uh, in October I would need to like start looking for an in, um, for an internship, and so one of my hopes coming out here was that I would be able to expand my network, and so like that um, has been already like that that has happened like more than more than I even expected um, in terms of being able to meet new people, come out here and just like learn learn new things, but also just like hear from all these. Um, all, everyone's experience um, in the industry, and uh, everyone's been just super awesome um, and super positive here. Yeah, we, we usually find, especially at the open source shows, mm -hmm. almost everyone's hiring. Uh, you know, there, there, there's huge demand for, for software developers. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe tell us a little bit about Holberton School, you know, uh, and, and how they're helping, you know, ramp people up and be ready for uh, for, for kind of the, the, this world. Yeah, so it's a um, it's a two year um, higher education uh, alternative, and it is nine months of um, programming. So we do, and that's split up into uh, three months low level. So we actually did C, um, where we pro you know programmed our own shell. We programmed printf. Um, then after that, we followed with high level. So we um, studied. Python, and now we're in our sysadmin track, um, so we're finishing out the three, um, the last three months. And like throughout it, there's been a little bit like intermix, like we did binary trees a couple weeks ago, and so that was back in C, and so I love it when they're like throwing like C at us when we've been doing Python for a couple weeks, and I'm like, damn it, I have to put semicolons, um, and <laughs> it's not compiling, how oh, do I have to compile this? Oh, anyways, so off track. Um, and. Okay, so after those nine months, and then it's a six-month internship, and um, and after that, it's nine months of specialization. And so there's different special. You can specialize in um, high level, low level. They'll work with um, you in whatever you, uh, whatever the student, um, their interests are in, um, and you can do that either full-time student or do it part-time. Um, which most of the students that are in the first batch that started in January 2016, um, they're. Most of them are like still working, are still working, and then they're doing their nine-month um, specialization as like part-time students. Final question for you, Lynn. Share your personal thoughts on um, as you're immersed in, in the coding and learning. Mm -hmm. You see the community, you meet some great people here, network expanding. What are you excited about going forward as you look as you look out there, as you as you finish up and get involved? What's exciting to you? in the world ahead of you. What would you what do you think you're going to jump into? Uh, what's uh, what's popping out and uh, revealing itself to you? Um, I think coming to the conference um, and hearing um, Jim speak um, about just how diversity is important and just the and also hearing from multiple speakers and sessions about the importance of collaboration and uh, um, contributions. I just feel like Linux and open source this whole movement is um, just a really, it's a step in the right direction, I believe, and and uh, and it's just, I think the recognition that by being diverse that we're going to be stronger for it, um, that is super exciting to me. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I just hope to be able to, yeah, I, I mean, I know I'm going to be able to add to that. So. You, are, well, you certainly are. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Congratulations on your success. Thanks for coming, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank and you. This is theCUBE coverage live in LA for Open Source Summit North America. I'm Jeff Hurst, Stu Miniman. More live coverage after this short break. <laughs>